Hello there, this is Only One Kenobi. Only One. What a beautiful day this is today. I thought I'd start my video in a new location. I'm starting a new series of videos now. I've done a couple before, top five list sort of video. This first video is my top five vintage collection car backs that used to be in the 1980s that are basically exactly the same as they were in the 1980s that they brought forward without any changes. So they are exactly the same card back, but obviously the figure has been updated. So please join me in one moment while we take a look at those. Thank you. And here we are back at HQ. So let's have a look at these figures. These are five figures that are in the vintage collection that are car backs that are exactly the same as what they were in the 1980s, basically. <clears throat> and they are awesome car backs. Check out the wall here. There are some spaces on the wall because I've taken a few figures off. I've got a couple of honorable mentions. I've got seven figures here. Yes, that I'm gonna show you. So basically these cards are exact replicas of what they were in the 1980s, except they have an updated figure in. I think I said that in the introduction, I can't quite remember. So they're in no particular order here. Are you ready? Okay, number one, you're gonna like this Rogue Quan, because this guy, I have to say, is in my list. The thing about Nine Numb is he's not necessarily one of my favorite characters, but I love this car back and it's all down to sentiment. The reason I like this guy and the car back is because not only is it a good picture of him, um, when I was a kid, I had not one, not two, but three loose Nine Numbs. I have mentioned that in a, in a video once before, the reason that was was because he must have been a peg warmer back in the day or I must have had multiple nine numbs from family members but I, I basically it proves that I opened every single one. I mean he's not even an army builder, there's only one nine num. If he was a stormtrooper, yes he could open <laughs> three stormtroopers. So I had three nine numbs and I opened all of them probably because I think I got them off family members and then I got another one and another one and I must have just got them as a kid and thought yay, <coughs> opened him. But anyway, this is the modern version of Nine Num. As you can see, the card back is exactly the same as the 80s version. The figure inside, however, is vastly updated. It's an amazing figure that I actually confess to not having him loose, but I wouldn't mind. That's my first. Moving on to my next one. Well, it's another Return of the Jedi. But this next one is the Nikto. I love this card back because it's just another figure I remember having knocking around. And it's probably, I think I have it somewhere. I have a Nikto, the only figure I have from the 1980s that, that survived the carnage of being a child and playing and bashing them together was my Nikto. But this was a lovely card to get. Nothing has changed. It is exactly as it was in the 1980s, but it's obviously a modern figure. So nine num, and now the Nikto are on my list. Let's have a look at number three. And that would be this gentleman here. Let's have a look at the original one. It is Wicket. Something about this card. I love the color of it. The yellow and the green and the red. I don't know what it is about those colors or whatever, but the card back is just gorgeous to look at. I do have a mock-up of an old vintage Wicket in the other room, which is nice to look at, but this modern figure is awesome. This old one said Wicket W Warwick. This one is just plain Wicket. But I love this car back. I don't know why, it just appeals to me. And I, because I know it's unchanged from the 80s, I give it more respect. It's just a nice, lovely car back. There you go, one for you, Warwick Davis. You're on the list. And the next one uh, is another Return of the Jedi. He's a Jabba goon. It is, of course, Weakway. Now, this is, again, another car back. This is unchanged and untampered since the 80s. I just remember having this, it's all about memories again. You see, I remember having this guy in the 80s. This figure, just like Wicket, actually, I didn't say this, but Wicket, I don't have that modern Wicket loose, I wouldn't mind. I don't have that Nine Num loose, I wouldn't mind. And I don't have this guy loose, I wouldn't mind, because he is awesomely screen accurate, I have to say. Lovely blue sky card back there. The, again, it's something to do with colour. It might be an artistic thing here. It, you've got a bit of red, you've got the blue, you've got the kind of an orangey yellow. It's a nicely balanced card back, whereas the Skiff Master, I personally dislike 
It's a similar kind of car back. It's a Skiff Master, of course, is a different character. You've got a blue sky and then you've got that red background. I don't really like red and blue together on a car back like that, but that's just my opinion, you know, it's just me. But anyway, this guy is back to the 1980s. It just sort of takes me there. <laughs> so there he is. Mr. Weakway is number four. And finally, number five, but it's got to be the Stormtrooper. Now it's awesome. The carryover of this card is amazing because the image is clearly a new hope and the logo, it works so well with an Empire Strikes Back logo. I don't know why that is, but it just does. And it's just a classic, isn't it? And it's just nice to see that Hasbro in 2010 to 2012 were bringing back some classic car backs and figures. But the great thing about the vintage collection is getting your hands on these things here, which, you know, not many people kept them carded back then anyway, so at least you can sort of have a mint cardboard and a brand new figure inside. It just makes sense to me, you know, that's why I love the vintage collection, you know, you can get your hands on pure Star Wars stock, you know, beautiful. So that's a great car back and it's got to be in my top five, you know. Now I shall show you the honourable mess. <laughs> now I will show you the honourable mentions. Hang fire. I was wrestling with these, you know, I, I, I just, you know, it was a difficult choice. There's other card backs on this wall that could have made it, like R5-D4 could have been in there, definitely. But these two are my honourable mentions. This Vader card, though you can't beat the classic. The classic, you ask? Well, that's the classic Vader card from the 1977 line, and it's been on multiple card backs from Empire to Jedi but if you want a return of the Jedi Vader this is your man I mean the image is just bang on isn't it that is a, that is Vader in the Death Star hangar not too keen on the modern figure they put inside and the fact that the Emperor's wrath is covered in that lightning I actually don't have it loose again this one it's just I was desperate to get hold of a VC-115 and I know that my mate Andy if you're watching he's after one now too but it's just great that Hasbro decided to bring back this car back. This is exactly as it was in the 1980s. That's what this list video is all about. Cards in the vintage collection that were in the 80s, exactly the same, unchanged. And that is one of them and it's awesome. In fact, I feel bad that I've made him an honorable mention. He's such a good figure. But there he is, VC-115, which is the return of the Jedi. Vader in the hangar bay, I like to call him. And my other honorable mention, as you saw, which was in the star case, I've now just taken him out is of course the AT-80 AT driver and this car back is just nice, it's awesome because there's just so much going on. Usually vintage car backs have a character on the front but this is one of a few cards that are a vehicle card. And there it is, I just think there's so much going on in the card back. Just forgo the character inside and just look at the artworks, amazing. That battle, I mean the Battle of Hoth is probably the single reason why I love this card back because that is just an awesome battle in Star Wars. Law, history, whatever you want to call it. And there you go, there is my top five or seven if you want to include the honourable mentions. Great car backs in the vintage collection that are repeats or re-releases of cards that existed in the 1980s. Exact replicas. On my next video I will be looking at my top five vintage collection car backs that didn't exist in the 1980s or 70s that are from the original trilogy. I repeat, the original trilogy. Like this one here. That's all from me today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave a list of your favorite in the bottom below. That would be nice to know. This is Only One Kenobi. Only One, out. <laughs>